Never been a product of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you So proud of myself. This is the first time that I ever made banana nut bread, and this is so good. It's so good, and it's so moist. My brother had some. Jordan had some. I ate some, and it is moist. And when I say moist, I'm like, and I'm gonna eat this piece. But y'all look at that. Look at that. First time making it. And it's so good. And I'm talking about homemade. Not no box and it. Just homemade. And I gave my brother a piece hot right out the oven. But y'all. Mm, it's so good. And it's like a lightly buttered crust on the top. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Mm. And I ain't have a low pan. So I just put in a regular Powerade dish. But I'm so glad I did. It's so good. And then I can't show y'all what Jordan made. <laughs> But I'm about to season because they already have been washed and deveined and all that. So I'm about to season and fry up my shrimp. And we're probably going to have some french fries or something with it. I'm not sure. <laughs> and this is the first time that I think they feel that. And it's a good feeling. Uncle Ray. Mm. I told y'all, I just love football. I just love football, period. And. Well, it was Denver. It's a few of them. That right, go on. Uh, he still got it. Go on. Uh. Hey, family. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Oh, I forgot my earrings, but it's going to be all right because I'm not going back. And I just noticed it. Oh, I'm not going back. It's going to be fine. How y'all doing? Welcome back to our home, you guys. I am headed out to my um, follow-up appointment for my results from my from the biopsy from two weeks ago. And y'all already done prayed, gave it to God, and left it there at his feet the day that I walked out from my procedure. If y'all remember when I had the busted lip and I told y'all that in the name of Jesus, he already done healed me and it's done. So I'm not worried or nothing. I'm just going in for the um, for the follow-up and then plus he want to see how the medicines that you know he had gave me if it's working any and y'all know how that go yeah and it's just me you could have been put your blinker on jesus like you way back there you want to not put your blinker on okay so <laughs> that's what this morning is so y'all i'm just um I'm in good spirits and stuff today. I slept well last night. Thank you, Lord. Oh, man, and this traffic is something crazy. I'm out on my beachfront. So, this traffic coming from that way. And traffic, well, they don't have much traffic coming from that way. Well, yeah, I'm just out on my beachfront. But I'm not on there yet. I'm coming down my little hill that y'all always see straight across. But I'm about to get on this highway, listen to my gospel music, so I can do my morning praise and worship. And I will be back with you guys um, after, okay? Hey fam, what's up? Yeah, I'm back. Check my clothes, see if they dry and they not. So I put a load in for me while it's gone. I'll just check. They ain't ready. My other clothes about to come out the washer. You know why it's wet right here? I have to mop right there because it's wet. Alright, let me just talk to y'all for a quick little second. I ain't going to keep y'all long. Uh-oh. Because I have to go out to Walmart. I had to go pick up my medicine and pick up a few things. But, let me talk to y'all just real quick, give y'all a quick little update, um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to be done with it. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but I'm just going to let y'all know that the issues that I have going on with my stomach is one thing. The issues that I have going on with my chest and my esophagus area is something else. 
I told you guys in the last video um, when I when I got my procedure done that they did not well the procedures <laughs> but they did do biopsies I got those results back but I did not get all of them back they, it's like a constriction and it's intensive it's like a chronic intensive construction of my bile ducts to where my body just does not naturally go to the restroom no matter what I do no matter what I take I take a lot of fiber I do yogurt I do pre and pro, um, probiotics none of that is going to help so they're just going to put me on medication and then once a year I'll go back in I'll get colonoscopies upper and lower um, GI stuff done they'll do certain procedures and stuff on me to kind of see with my intestines and all of that so as far as my esophagus and my swallowing and stuff um i told you guys that they had to go in with a stent and with a balloon and open up my esophagus area but i have a chronic um issue or a chronic disease i can't say the name of it i've never heard of it before and i told you guys i've i've been a nurse for years and i've never heard of this pretty much deteriorated a lot of my tissue that's in my esophagus area so i have a whole lot of bacteria in there and i have a whole lot of fluid buildup already on my chest so they did the stent they did the balloon all of that how stuff is opening and closing and all of that so it's a whole lot but god got it and i'm not worried about it like i told her i've been dealing with this all my life the only reason I had to end up seeing a doctor for it, because with my heart issues, I deal with a lot of chest pain and side pain and back pain that's associated with my heart. And they want you to have your gastric doctor to make sure nothing else is going on. Um, so both of them together working along with me. And like they said, it's just unfortunately my issues are hereditary and it won't complain over what I gotta go through. Don't it won't complain. If I'm telling you guys, I'm just sharing what's going on in my life. But it's never a complaint. You have to know that I'm so grateful that I'm here. Um, I'm loving my body. <laughs> I'm loving that I have so much more energy. I just I just love where I'm at, where God has me right now. It's not perfect that I'm in enjoy my life go out have a good time enjoy my grandbaby enjoy my kids um no woe is me why i gotta go through this why i gotta deal with this none of that like 2024 for me it's gonna be a blessing no matter if it's good or bad days it's gonna be a blessing it's gonna be a blessing in the hard days it's gonna be a blessing in those testimonies it's gonna be a blessing in them trials because i'm here but it's just favor it's just favor that no matter what I'm going through, Lord have mercy, the favor that is on my life. And no matter what the outcome going to be, I'm already claiming that it's going to be all right. So I'm fine, y'all. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so I am about to get these clothes out of here, get my other clothes in the dryer, get me some breakfast real quick, and then by then they should be telling me my medicine ready. I know our pharmacy go from 1.30 to 2, so my medicine will be done before they go on lunch. Mama, physical therapist, come Wednesday. I'm not sure what day her nurse or anybody going to come yet, or her speech therapist. But she don't have anywhere to go until Friday. Thursday, I go to my doctor. So Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to be chilling. If I got to go anywhere, it's going to be because Alicia want to go somewhere. Yeah, because I need to go to Bill's and get Philip a jacket because I still haven't found him a jacket yet. So I got to do that. Um, and either Bill's or Ross, one of them stores. I might even go to TJ Maxx. I don't know. I just know I got to find him a jacket. And I need to get me some socks. And that's all. Because I done did groceries, did all that. I want to make me some cookies this week. So my week going to be chill. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Get Lord, it's gonna be chill this week. But, um, yeah, so let me go and get started on this stuff, and I'll be back. Hey, family, what's hey, going on? Hey, y'all. Hey, hey. <laughs> we are out and about. Why he pulled them up? We are out and about, you guys. Um, this is another day 
this is gonna be the last day and I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, my video was long, but I had to cut a lot of stuff mm -hmm. out because YouTube, yeah, YouTube get thick on their copyright. They copyright if you got a TV show playing in the background. They copyright everything. Now, I, the stuff they need to be getting rid of, they ain't getting rid of. <laughs> but you gotta play by their rules. You know, put your stuff on their platforms. But we are headed to American Thrift Store. I need to find Philippa Jacket. And Joe was like, I know you can go there, but they be having a lot of them. Yes, I can go to the store and buy him one. <laughs> but they be having name brand jackets there. <laughs> yep, some of them do be brand new tags still on them. So, now if they don't have any there, <clears throat> or the ones that still just don't look good, of course, I'm not going to get them. But if I can find him a really nice one, then I will. If not, I'll just, then I'll go to the store. But everybody trying to save money, huh? Because I know he's not going to wear a jacket all the time. It's cold here. Well, today it's 61. But we'll get patches of like cold, cold weather that we don't. And I don't want to go spend a whole lot of money for a thick coat that he's not going to wear, you know, all the time, like up north. So, so that's what we headed to. Um, but y'all know I love thrifting and all of that. So we go in there. Well, I got to go get mama medicine first. I got to go to the hospital. Because Walgreens, <laughs> my mama been waiting on, what was that, about a month, over a month ago. We called in her medicine in December for three of her medicines. They said the oxycodone they short on. And I know her home healthcare nurse said a few of her other patients were saying that and they pick up at different places. But I know the hospital have them. So they never did call they never did call say anything else. Her nerve pills that she have to take for her um her cancer and stuff that's in her body. They um she need them. They didn't get them filled. So when I called Walgreens, they was like, it's the shortage on that. You're not going to tell me everybody taking gabapentin like they taking oxycodone. You're not going <laughs> to tell me that because that's not, even though it's a pain pill, it's more of a nerve pain pill. So her nurse had when they looked on the thing and she was like, no, some of them, they just don't be wanting to feel like if they can't feel one or two, they don't want to waste their time feeling one. And I'm like, Lord have mercy. So it's just, it's crazy. So now I get the majority of her medicine filled through the hospital because they always have it. And her doctor calling in and even by that evening or that next morning it's ready because she can't go without her blood pressure medicine and none of that. And that was another one. Um, I'm like, how do y'all how have a shortage on blood pressure medicine? I get people take it, but it's not like the narcotics. Y'all need pharmacists to update. <laughs> and it's not like it ain't being paid for. Cause mama got good insurance to the military. These folks just, honey, they be on some. I'm just, I'm just sick of it. I'm just sick of it. Sick of it. So we gonna stop and through that first. And we gonna go get his jacket. Um, grab us something neat. I gotta stop. I guess we can stop at that. Walmart and go for it. Or either the um what? To get the chicken legs. I thought you get a chicken Yeah, oh, we stop at fruit. So I get some chicken legs. No, oh, that's right, because you don't like Walmart's day. I we gotta stop at fruits and get some legs because I'm barbecuing some chicken today for the house. And do some macaroni and something else. I don't know what else. And it's ten thirty, so it's still early in the morning. But Philip asked me for his shrimp pasta, so I already have his shrimp out defrosting. I'll peel him when I get home, and I'll make him just some for him. Um, and the rest of the house, oh, the rest of the house will be barbecue. So that's where we headed, and y'all gonna come along with us, and y'all gonna see what we see. All right, y'all. I found them a jacket. Put the phone right here so I can show y'all. I didn't record in there at all. We went in, went out. I was going over there by the piece, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna look. Um, because I did tell Jordan we was gonna go in and go out, cause we on not a we ain't on crunch a deadline, but I don't know. If it's for me, whatever's there, if it's for me, it'll be there when I go back. But I found him this under armor jacket. 
and I did get the men's size of course I always give him the men and it just has under armor oh lord I don't know what you're trying to do I'm thinking you're following it so keep following me it has under armor on the back got a hood and it's great on the inside so it's nice I'll show y'all better when we get home but just because I told y'all I was taking y'all along with me and then it's under armor and it's not as bright red as it's showing up on camera for some reason but it was $14.99 and it's an extra large um, extra large size so he gonna have this for me um, I don't even try to get him medium to men I either get him a large or extra large because y'all know Philip is tall he's a big boy uh, so but that's what I got. And I didn't even realize what tags they had or nothing today. I didn't look at none of that to see what colors was on sale. All I know, like I said, it was 14 or whatever the price I just told y'all. I don't know what y'all looking at, but. That's right. All right. I thought it was a Jamaican dress, but the colors. Mm -hmm. But now, um, I don't know where we headed next, but y'all will see. All right, y'all, we at Panda Palace. And we got our food to go because the nurse is on her way by mama. So we can't be out too long and I still have to make another stop. And that's always the hardest part because it's like you want to be able to go out and do things and whatnot, but because majority of the time we're like right now it's just both of the mamas are home and Deontay's not all everybody else is there and like I said the nurse was on her way so we have to kind of you know kind of get what we're gonna get and do what we're gonna do on the go and rush back at home unless one of the kids are home or somebody is gonna be at the house with them so yeah but we stopped here to get like I said to get lunch for us to go then I'm gonna go home and cook but we still have to stop at the store I have to get some barbecue sauce and I have to get the chicken and macaroni for today because I never did get macaroni when I went to the store. So <sighs> it's just one of these days on the go. It's that life of a caregiver. You can't really go out and enjoy yourself. Like I said, unless you have people that can have time to sit with them. But it's our life. So we do what we got to do right now. Look what we don't have. Say hi, Marie. This girl move heck of fast. Hey, I can see my baby girl. I told y'all he got her sports. <laughs> she went down to the tire shop to get a tire. See, there you go. I was on the phone with her. I was she on the phone. The tires I, I was on the phone That's with this time. child. And she said, Mama, they couldn't patch it, so they putting the tire on. We three minutes away from the tire place. Jordan pulled up. She already done got the tire. And up here at Dairy Queen. Tell y'all, this child move fast. We really don't be playing, honey. She be gone. And then Jordan tell her, how come you ain't telling me baby girl was already over here? How I supposed to have known? You was with me on the phone. Oh, I tell him and his baby girl. I'm going to let them have it. But this is where we pulled up at because she went to Dairy Queen and got her something neat. Hey, I still got to go He was a nice frugals. man. I'm sure. Let me hop my shirt. They don't know where I work. Girl, they already know where you work. For what? They already know where you work. Yep, yep, your shirt all the time. Girl, get your butt on back to work so you can eat. I don't eat. got time. I don't got to be clocked back in until 1 o'clock. And I'm going to eat in front of my kids. I haven't, oh. I, haven't been, I haven't been in my classroom all day. I miss my babies somewhere. Why you ain't been in your class? I've been in the four-year-old's classroom oh. today. Who that? I don't know. Oh. I've been in the four-year-old's classroom today. Oh. Yep. Yeah. He show he he show looking at you, Riri. He, mm. he was watching you, girl. He might know one of my coworkers. He, he looked familiar. That ain't him. Oh, that's not him. Hey, yeah. What y'all? y'all brought me food? What my food? Chinese food. You don't eat Chinese food. Okay. Mm. Nope. And I'm about to go out this way and go back to work. All right. Well, well actually, I'm about to wrap around and go back to that circle cake because I don't want. I might take that light. I don't know what I want to be yet. Well, whatever anyway, you do, be careful. Peace out, homeboys. Chili beef skis. 
Then, Later, baby girl. And, and then and then I gotta go schedule an eye doctor's appointment because my eyelids is keep popping. My job said they they go, they should pay for it in my insurance. Yeah, they should. They probably are just tighten it. That's probably the all they screws do. out. They'll put a new screw in. Your insurance should cover it. Cause that's Later, baby girl. Love you. Be careful. You all saw how my mama didn't get out the car to hug me. It's all right. You'll be home in a couple hours. Yes, I... And don't be flying through here either. I did not fly. Girl, you drive fast. I don't think you realize I how fast drive. you drive. I'm going to come. I waited for that car. That car to turn in so I can turn in. I was waving at y'all. Y'all saw me waving. Yeah, we seen your little hand. <laughs> <laughs> y'all probably look like, 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 look at that smoker. You look like about a 13-year-old driving. I don't think we see with a little hand. Little hand, maybe hand. <laughs> it's hard, so we ain't even see you. Y'all just think like when I buy my car, it's gonna be a little tiny car. We ain't even see like you. A tiny see a kid, so they'll be like. And that just show your hand again. Y'all see how That's little my hand is? Yeah, that hand wave. <laughs> <laughs> little little person. Well, let me go enjoy my food. All, All right, lady. be careful. Have a good day. Love you. Love you. We love you. Take it. Mm. Can we go back out that way? No, you gotta go all the way around. I said, can we go back out that way? Yeah, you gotta go around. Yeah, that was fun. Well, I'll be glad when baby girl get her car back so I can get my car back. <laughs> well, I'll be glad when she get her car so I can get my car back. I miss having it. I love, I love being around my husband. I do. I love. I can't go out that way because the truck blocking it. What? We'll go that way. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I could get. But we really gotta do the same thing too. I guess you can go through here. I don't know. I'm sure you can. It's a building, so yeah, I'm just go through here. You see that big old hole right there? Ooh. But um, yeah. yeah. You get your kid back. I love being around my husband. Though he ain't like I'm knocking him or nothing. You don't like being around. Boy, I'm around you all the time. Feel like I don't ever get a break from you. We always together. Damn. Always together. Come on, let's sidewalk. Okay, what that mean? Mm -hmm. See, them people had to do the same thing. Yeah, ain't going on no sidewalk. Well, go that way. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you didn't go that way in the first place. I don't know what you were trying to do. Anyway, we finna go to Frugal's so I can get this on. Um, what you call it? Chicken and stuff. That's where they used to sell their firearms and stuff, but they moved to the up, up, go for it. All right. Let me see y'all in a bit. Put it in. Put it in. Out of food, real quick, because my battery on two percent. <laughs> this is my barbecue chicken, it's so good. It just ooh, it's good. Phillips Cajun chick, Cajun shrimp alfredo, the sweet peas, macaroni and cheese, and this is the rest of Phillips alfredo. So, yeah, and then I told y'all I'm about to go eat my Chinese food right now, and this will be my dinner for tonight. But thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with us, for chilling with me. I'm about to get my laundry out and my other laundry in. And I will see you guys later. So until tomorrow, y'all be blessed. We love you guys. Thank y'all for watching, supporting the channel, and always being here. And we will see y'all later.